any other artist, it's fine. I don't care about that. The issue is, is that not only do, are we female artists, okay? Black female artists in an industry that we, there's not that many of us, right? We've met each other, we know each other, we have mutual friends, it's not hard, she can contact, right? Ash Nico, who's what, 20? She's a young white girl. She reached out when she freaking like, it's just common decency. So Beyonce has finally reacted to being dragged by Khalees and it is as petty as you can expect from the queen bee herself. Now Khalees is mad at Beyonce and everybody else and she is determined to drag this matter on even more. You guys are not going to believe what she is up to now. Talk about fumbling the bag. So you guys know how I said that we hadn't seen the last of the drama going on between Beyonce and Khalees? Well, I called it because things just got weirder and a little bit more insane. For those who don't know what the drama is about Beyonce dropped her album Renaissance a couple days ago but while you were all enjoying the album and putting it on repeat Khalees was out here dragging Beyonce and calling her a thief uh oh bars this is because Beyonce sampled Khalees's song on the Renaissance track Energy and Khalees was not having it she got mad at Beyonce for not reaching out to give her a heads up before the album was released and now Beyonce didn't have to do this because Khalees didn't have the rights to her songs so there was no need for Beyonce to clear the sample with her the rights are held with the Neptunes, which is a duo made up for Pharrell Williams and Chad Hugo. They hold the rights to Khalees' early songs, so if anyone wants to sample the songs, they have to clear it with the Neptunes, not Khalees. And that's what Beyonce did, but Khalees was still mad and not having it. Khalees chose to drag Beyonce publicly writing, my mind is blown too, because the level of disrespect and utter ignorance of all three parties involved is astounding. I heard about this the same way everyone else did. Nothing is ever as it seems, and some of the people in this business have no soul or integrity and they have everyone fooled but when she started getting dragged by the beehive she decided to make a video where she explained everything the issue is is that not only do are we female artists okay black female artists in an industry that we there's not that many of us right we've met each other we know each other we have mutual friends it's not hard she can contact right ash nico who's what 20 she's a young white girl she reached out when she freaking like it's just common decency. Now, I kind of get her point, but like I said before, her beef was with the Neptunes and she should have dragged them. Especially when she was previously coming out saying that Pharrell didn't write any of her songs even though he has writing creds on them. So she should have faced the Neptunes. I kind of get why she was upset that Beyonce didn't reach out to her because I think that Khalees deserves that respect at the very least since they know each other personally, allegedly. But then again, on second thought, I kind of wonder why Khalees didn't reach out to Beyonce when she found out what happened. I mean, if you're gonna be all out here claiming that Beyonce did you dirty by not reaching out to you personally, then I kind of wonder why you didn't reach out to Beyonce and give her a chance to clear the air. I'm just saying that Khalees could have reached out instead of calling Beyonce a thief and trying to drag her by her little baby ears on social media. Now, Khalees is not the only person that Beyonce sampled without a heads up because Beyonce also sampled Robin S, but Robin was civil about it and Beyonce sent her flowers as an apology or something like that. I was interested to see if Khalees was gonna get any flowers from Beyonce. Beyonce has an apology, but listen, I did not expect Beyonce to do what she did next, cause B clapped back in a major way and left everybody shook. Now, I wasn't exactly expecting Beyonce to drag Khalees in public, because Beyonce don't move like that. She prefers to move in private, and that's exactly what she did, cause she just took Khalees right off the song completely. Now, before this whole drama started, Khalees was credited on the song, but she now got removed from the credits. And in true Beyonce fashion, she did this without making a lot of noise about it. We all just noticed that one minute Khalees was credited, and in the next minute, she went been removed and there was no trace of her on the song. It was like she never existed on the song. I don't know about you guys, but I think it's pretty funny. Beyonce was being petty as F and I'm not gonna lie, I can't blame her for being petty. If someone that I know personally allegedly took to social media to drag me over something that could have been resolved with a phone call or an email, then I'm pretty sure I'd be pretty petty too. A fan commented, I appreciate that Khalees spoke up for herself, but I can't help but laugh at Beyonce, literally refusing to ever argue with none of y'all. She silently removed that sample and finished reading to the twins. And someone else said, I absolutely love the way Beyonce handles business. You want the ableist term gone? Say less. Khalees wants to holler? Say less. No credits? No sample. I aspire to be that graceful and unbothered by negativity. And this was nothing but facts. Another fan clowned Khalees because even after Beyonce took her off the song, there still wasn't a noticeable difference. Someone said, the way we can't even tell the difference between the 
old and new version of energy? Khalees should be embarrassed as hell. And this other fan commented, after Beyonce removed Khalees' beat from energy, you realize her contribution to the song was not even noticeable, but she was still credited. This is why I love Beyonce. Now, I kind of expected Khalees to take a chill pill after this. I mean, Beyonce took her out of the song, so there's no need to be mad anymore, right? Wrong. Lil Miss Khalees has now been out here trying to convince fans that she is not upset and that she got taken off the song. And honestly, it's not giving what she thinks is giving. She has been attacking fans online and she has just been really messy. A fan said, you happy Beyonce took that sample off? Cry, baby. And she said, yes, I am, actually. Left all out, nobody cried. Another fan said, to be honest, I would have just been happy to be on the album. And Khalees replied, and that's why you are you, and thank God I am me. <laughs> Another fan said, sample got removed like you wanted to, so back to the barbecue sauce you go. And Khalees said, oh, absolutely. Laugh out loud, hashtag winning. Finally, this fan said, music career dead just like your edges. And Khalees hit back with, <laughs> My edge? I'm Rapunzel in this beat. Oh, you mad. Now, I'm not trying to drag Khalees because I could get why she was upset, but I don't think that she handled that right. She was trying to come off as cool and unbothered by the removal, but instead is giving pain and is giving salty and bitter. And I honestly don't know how else she expected this to end because the whole thing was just getting so messy. But then again, it could be that Khalees did this for clout. Now, before y'all come for me, let me explain why, okay? Now, I know that Khalees was a pretty big artist back in the day but we can all agree that she has been in the past couple of years. Nobody really talks about her anymore. The milkshake is melted and rancid and it's not bringing anybody to the yard anymore. So she needed to do something to get people talking. And I'm not saying that this is a bad thing because it happens a lot in Hollywood. Many celebs chase clout or pull stunts to get people talking about them because they know that the more they are in the news, the more publicity that they get and the more they can stay relevant. Now I think that this is absolutely the case with Khalees here and she just kind of latched onto the Beyonce situation and she's trying to milk it as long as she can. But don't get me wrong, I think that her points are still valid. I also think that she is still genuinely mad at the Neptunes, but I think that she is just chasing clout. But as I said, I don't blame her because she definitely needs all the help that she can get. But then again, don't we all? A fan commented, Khalees, girl, you know you gained all this attention because of Beyonce, right? Look at your likes and comments, sis. And Khalees said, you are dumb. Yeah, look at my comments. Go back a couple more days and it's the same. The other guys don't matter our count. Never did. You're the sheep and I speak to the leaders. I was never for you. That's by design simpleton. <laughs> Again, I think that she is just not handling this well. And it's extra obvious that she is high key salty. So I guess that answers my question in my last video. Khalees will not be getting flowers from Beyonce. Well, at least not anytime soon. Anyways, I know y'all come here for the drama. So go on ahead and check out this other video. Because trust me, the drama is chaotic.